Hey, hey from Seesaw, and welcome to Feedback and Assessment. A consistent and ongoing feedback loop is one of the most powerful influences on student achievement. Feedback offers students a plan of action so they understand what is needed to meet their goals. Monitoring student progress allows teachers to understand what individual students need in order to grow as learners. This continuous loop is a foundation for student learning. Let's learn about how the features in Seesaw allow you to give feedback and assess student learning more easily. In this training, we will explore how you can send back student work with actionable feedback for students to continue working on and how teachers can easily monitor progress with Seesaw skills. While reviewing posts, Seesaw for Schools teachers can provide feedback and send back a piece of student work or can provide feedback and send back work that has already been approved so students can continue to work towards meeting their goals. A great time to give feedback is when you're reviewing and approving posts. Leave a comment with your feedback and then tap the orange send back button above the post to send it back to students. Remember, you can leave a text or audio comment. If work has already been approved, you can also use the comment tool to give constructive feedback that supports students to meet their learning goals. Just find the post in the class journal and leave your comment. Then on the approved post, tap the three dots and choose send back as draft. Either way, student work will be converted back to a draft. In the journal tab, students will see their work with this new orange bar letting them know it is now a draft and can tap edit to continue working. This allows for a continuous learning loop which supports students to reflect on their learning and revise their thinking. Students will also be notified in the notifications tab that their work has been sent back from their teacher. Students can tap on this notification and tap edit here to view the feedback and make changes. Or students can go to the To Do tab under Activities and tap Finish Response. Comments open automatically within the post so students can review them before completing the activity. This allows students to easily see the feedback from you without having to toggle to the Notifications tab. Students can hide the comments while they work and then easily reopening them by tapping on the comment icon next to Draft. Meaningful and actionable feedback supports students to reflect on their learning and encourages them to meet their goals. When teachers align their instruction to standards, they are better able to track progress and support each student's individual needs. Seesaw Skills and Progress Skills View are premium features that help teachers provide and track standards-aligned instruction. To get started, let's learn how to add skills. Seesaw for Schools teachers, your admin may have already added skills for you. If not, consider asking them to bulk upload skills via their admin dashboard so that all teachers have access to the same skills. If you need to add skills yourself, open Class Settings. That's the wrench icon. Under the Progress section, tap Manage Skills. Then tap New Skill. Type the details of the learning standard and then tap the green check. Your skill is added. Continue adding a skill for each learning standard by repeating these steps. Next, let's learn how to tag skills to activities and posts. To tag skills to student work that has already been posted to the journal, tap the skills icon on the bottom of the post. Select one or more skills to tag, choose a rating, and then tap the green check. You are now on your way to tracking student growth. Tagged skills show at the bottom of each post. Students and family members do not see tagged skills, just teachers. Going post by post is time consuming. Save time by tagging skills when assigning activities. When assigning an activity, tap Edit Students, Folders, Skills. In the Skills tab, select one or more skills to tag to the activity. Tagged skills show at the bottom of the assigned activity. When students respond to the activity, their posts will be tagged to the skills automatically. Once skills are tagged to posts, give ratings to track progress towards standards. We recommend giving ratings when approving posts. When you tap review, you see tagged skills at the bottom of the post. Simply select your rating. 
You can also tag and rate additional skills at this step by tapping the graduation cap. Another easy way to give ratings is via the Activities Summary view. In the Activities tab, tap the gray bar on an activity. Tap on a student post to review. While reviewing, tap on the skills icon at the bottom of the post. Select your rating for your skills tagged to the response. You can also tag and rate additional skills at this step. Regularly tagging and rating skills in Seesaw allows you to track and support student learning. Let's now learn how you can view all ratings in one place so you can monitor student progress. Skills view shows students' skills ratings, giving you an at-a-glance summary of mastery. Access skills view in the progress tab next to the notifications tab. First, you can filter by date so you're able to view ratings for a set period of time. Just tap the dates in the upper left corner, select the start and end date of the ratings you want to view, and tap Done. Now you only see skills tagged to posts for the dates you chose. Hover over a skill for more details. To hover, move your mouse over the skill, but do not click. The colored icon shows you each student's most recent mastery rating for each skill. The number next to the colored icon indicates the number of posts by the student tagged to that skill. Hover over a rating for more details, including the rating for each post by the student tagged to that skill. Tap on a rating to view the posts. You will see all posts by the student tagged to the skill, showing progress over time all in one place. For more specific views, use the filtering controls on the right. Filter by student, groups, folders, and skills. You can even generate a shareable skills progress report by tapping on a student's name. This is the skills progress report. Under each skill is the date and rating of posts tagged to that skill. You can copy or print this report to share with students and families. Skills and progress skills view are only visible to teachers and administrators. So make sure to share the progress report with students and families so they can view student progress and growth. Seesaw helps you create a consistent and ongoing feedback loop that allows teachers to understand what individual students need in order to grow as learners. You did it. You learned how to send back approved work with actionable feedback so students can continue working towards their goals and how you can progress monitor student work in Seesaw. Interested in more trainings? Visit our learning hub at learn.seesaw.me and our training page at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.